My name is Feyo Lubodo. I'm currently the CEO of uh, Inside Communications, or as our trading name is Inside Publicis. I've been with Inside for 10 years now, and um, Inside has been around for almost 40 years, the leading marketing communications business um, in Nigeria. Well, in, Insight originated many years ago, um, as I said, almost 40 years, when the founders, Mr. Shubanjo, who is the chairman of the group, um, and Mr. Awushika, who is the vice chairman, decided that the, land, the current landscape of advertising then needed, needed changing. And, uh, and that what would differentiate them from any other player was if the business knew something about consumers that nobody else knew and that way we could build enduring relationships between the consumers and our clients' brands and hence the name Insight because that's really what was the core of what, at the core of what we do. And so in that, that's how that led to the uh, formation and launch of Insight Communications uh, 1st of January 1980. Uh, and the business has been around now for, for going on to 40, 40 years, 38, 40 years. Well, integrated marketing communications really is about the idea that um, You've got to think of the marketing communication solutions from the point of view of the consumer who is going to receive it. The consumer doesn't see communication from the view of different media. They don't, they don't break it apart or disintermediate as, as we organize our business. And so delivering integrated marketing communication solutions is essentially a uh, uh, a case where you look at how the consumer is going to experience that communication based on their lifestyle and then you organize the solution that you are taking to the client around that and then you know you deliver that so it's independent of any media uh, platform in particular or any specific service offering within within uh, within marketing communications now businesses can use that because at the end of the day the client the consumer is actually king we say client is king but the client <laughs> can't exist if, if the consumers are not buying their products or engaging with their products profitably. And, and that's really the only way to engage with consumers today. Well, um, without uh, going into too much details on that, we, we, we have a relentless focus on, on, on clients' business. And we do believe that if we, pro, if we consistently provide the right solutions to our clients, they will pay us handsomely for it. And, and most of the clients that we we work with have, have recognized the value of what we do and they, and, and they pay for it. So we, we have a philosophy here which I espouse often and that is that there is no innovation uh, without margin. And by margin here I mean financial margin. Our clients expect us to bring innovative solutions to their problems. They expect us to bring the best talent to them. We cannot do that if the business does not remain profitable we will not be able to sustain that. So what we, what we do is ensure that while we're delivering uh, value to clients, we, we do it at, at a, with a, within a cost profile that is reasonable enough for us to, to have a decent profit margin that then allows us to continue to add value, add, add innovation to the business, get the best talent, uh, bring the invest in the best tools and trainings and development so that we can continue to deliver excellent service to our clients. So there's almost like a feedback loop uh, uh, going on going on in there. You know, uh, the game is a, is a, is a, is a competitive, uh, competitive game, you know. <laughs> very, very brutal. So if I remind myself of the movie, um, I, think, I think there's a fifth installment of Rocky, where Rocky Balboa had to fight this much younger, much nimbler guy. And they had this conversation with, 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 with his coach, and the coach told him, you, can't, you are not as fast as this guy. You are an older guy, you are heavier in weight. He said, but this guy has won his match with knockouts in the fifth round. All you have to do is to stay in the game till the, till the 12th round. That was Rocky's strategy. He had endurance, he had stamina. And at the end of the match, commentators made, made something, they said something that, that this guy that was fighting Rocky Balboa actually was getting for the first time in his life uh, a training in how to box properly because the guy had never he just knocks people out at it so he didn't have stamina he couldn't endure and that's really how our competitive strategy whatever we do for clients we can do it repeatedly we can do it for a long time we have stamina is built into our structures is built into our processes 
is built into our people. Uh, we may not be a flash in the pan and we're not, but clients that have entrusted their business to us, we've, we've stayed with them, we've worked with them for years. We, we, we have clients that have stayed with us for 30 years, for 15 years, for 20 years. And they've had younger people come to them, but they said, look, these guys, these guys can go the long haul. So we take a marathon, um, marathon approach to it. And most of the players today just take a sprint. Uh, uh, there, there are five round knockout players. We, we're, we're 12 round boxers, so that's it.